So I just got a spray tan, as you can see. I'm going to video and Sam's wedding this evening, which is why I wanted to be a little bit more tanned. I still do not even know what I'm going to wear to this wedding. I will try and figure that out this afternoon. I just got home and I pretty much just need to marinate in this fake tan for a couple of hours before I wash it off. But while I was out, I got my nails done again as I kind of wanted something a little bit festive but a little bit different to what I had last time. So yeah, I got this. I'm really hoping to have quite the glow up between now and this evening. I'll definitely take you guys along for the ride. So let's get started. So the dress code for tonight is black and or white shoes and accessories and clothing, strictly no color. So I pretty much just got out all my black dresses that I feel like could potentially work. I also have this little black corset, which I just got in from Dion Lee. It's kind of hard to see because of all the black, but yeah, there it is. And I thought maybe I could layer that underneath one of the dresses as well. I think I'm just going to try a few of these on now and see which one I think will work. Also, in case you're wondering, this is the white singlet that I was wearing in my last vlog. It's from Anine Bing. I actually really love this singlet. It's really thick, so it's a really nice material. And I'm just wearing my black weekday row jeans, which I always wear. And for my shoes, I'm just wearing my old school black and white vans. Okay, so this is the first option. So this is a little black dress from Orson to Iris. I really love this piece, but I think that maybe it's a little bit too casual. I think it's more of a floor length dress kind of night. So on to the next option. This is actually the dress that I wore to my year 12 formal. This dress is from Zimmerman and it has really beautiful lace sleeve detailing and everything. And then it's also got this sort of gathered material here. I feel like this dress is really beautiful, but it's sort of not really my style anymore. I don't know. I just don't really feel that fab in it. So yeah, I don't really think I'll wear this one. So this is option Number three, this dress is from Rat and Boa. I absolutely love this dress. I'm gonna show it to you in a little bit more detail in the mirror in a second. The split leg, and I'll obviously wear some black heels with it. I just popped these ones on because they kind of go with everything. Hmm, I really do love this one. I feel like this one might be the one that I end up going with, but we shall keep trying on and see what else we've got. This is the next option. I feel like this is just way too much to wear to a wedding. So I think this is definitely a no. So the bride did say that it was sort of a Met Gala-ish kind of theme for the wedding, but I just feel like this is far too showy. And I also think I'd be really conscious the whole night wearing something like this. I might actually save this outfit for New Year's Eve because this outfit is a real party vibe. This is my final option. And I also sort of had the idea that I could wear the black corset underneath this dress as well for something a little bit different. I absolutely love this dress because you can actually wear it as a midi, a maxi, and also a mini dress. Just adjust the straps on the side to decide whereabouts you want the dress to sit. Okay, so here is the outfit with the corset on underneath. So I've been trying on a bunch of different things and I think this is what I've landed on. I've got the Rat and Boa dress on and I've also got the Dion Lee corset underneath. I feel like it just makes it look a little bit more interesting than just wearing a simple black dress. And I'm thinking to wear my Manolo Blonix. The only problem is, is that these shoes are so high and they're not really that comfortable, but I really feel like it goes with the whole look. So I don't know. This is where we're currently at with the outfit situation. I will report back once I'm all ready. I really wish that I had organized to get my makeup done for this wedding because I feel like I'm just so average at doing my makeup, but I'm gonna give it a go. Can't believe this is the first wedding that we've been to all year because of all the restrictions here in Melbourne. Last year, Nick and I went to 10 weddings, 10 in one year. Three of them we went to were in Thailand. One of them we went to was in Adelaide. So tonight will definitely be a very fun night. They've only invited 48 people as well. So it's going to be one of those really small intimate weddings, which I think will be really lovely. I never get spray tan put on my face as I feel like it just blocks my pores too much. So. I usually just, on days where I have had a spray tan, go a little bit harder with the bronzer. I think my skin actually looks pretty clear at the moment, which is good. I think I used maybe three or four different face masks last night, <laughs> just trying to get it to be as clear as possible for today. So I guess it worked because my skin does look pretty clear. I'm almost done. I'm just going to put some eyeshadow on. All right, all ready to go. So I ended up going with the Rat and Boa dress, the Dion Lee corset, my Manolo Blahniks, even though they are so uncomfortable. And I think I'm just gonna wear my Prada bag because it fits the most in it. So let's go.
I'm just running the straightener through my hair so that it's not so fluffy. So today is the 28th of December, meaning we are currently in the middle of that really weird week where no one knows what to do with themselves, everything's closed. I actually enjoy this week and pretty much I usually just try and get a lot of shit done. So today I'm just gonna run a bunch of errands. I've gotta go to the post office, the pharmacy, and also the camera store because I bought a disposable camera last week and it's all full, so I want to get it developed. I'm actually so excited to see the photos. I took a bunch at the wedding and also on Christmas Day, so I'm really excited to see how they turned out. I'll obviously show you guys when I get them back. I have a few pimples on my chin and also my lips at the moment. I think it's because I've just been eating way too many sweets. You guys already know that I'm a sweet tooth, but I absolutely outdid myself this Christmas. I went super hard, so yeah, I'm breaking out, which we love. So I'm thinking to do a little wardrobe clean out before the end of the year. So I'll probably do it this week. I'm really not sure if I should film myself doing the wardrobe clear out or not. I'm just not sure if it's like interesting content or actually just really boring. Maybe you guys can let me know below if you'd like to see it. I just got changed because I was really hot in the robe. So now I'm in t-shirt. A lot of you guys have been requesting a denim try on video. So I'm definitely planning on filming that very soon where I'm pretty much just going to try on all the denim that I have in my wardrobe. Anyways, I'm just going to finish getting dressed and ready now, and then I'm gonna head out. I'm wearing a really simple white cotton shirt from Weekday Store. I've been wearing these white jeans so much recently. They're from Victoria and Woods. I absolutely love them. They're just really comfortable and a little bit loose, which you guys know I kind of like. I'm wearing some low top Doc Martens and I'm wearing my brand new Bottega handbag which I absolutely love. I'm definitely going to show you guys this bag in a little bit more detail later on. Hello. Oh, hi. How are you going? I just wanted to drop off some film. Yes, you do. Perfect. Diane. Are you a member? Excellent. Please check to make sure I haven't been dyslexic there. <laughs> And then sign in and control uh Now you can put your pen back in the dirty, filthy, disgusting pens container. <laughs> Today we're going to have a little picnic in the Yarra Valley, so we're just heading to Innocent Bystander now to get the things to have the picnic. I already picked Nick. <laughs> You're right here. I also brought this hat with me, but I'm not really sure about it. I feel like it doesn't really suit me that well. So pretty much I just want to freshen up my makeup a little bit and I also want to get changed. I just don't really know what I'm going to wear. But we're heading out tonight for dinner with Jackie and her boyfriend Nathan. So to celebrate the end of the year and also bid farewell to what has been a truly crap 2020, I thought I would do a little beauty giveaway for you guys as I know you really liked it last time so I thought it might just make someone stay if they received it. So pretty much I'm just going to be giving away a big box of beauty products and skincare products and all that sort of thing. I will actually get the box now and show you. There's literally so many products in here. Things from Kylie Skin Collection, from the Fenty Skin Collection, things from Fenty Beauty. I think that's under here. This box literally has three layers of products. So yeah, there's a lot in here. So yeah, good luck and don't be too sad if you don't win this giveaway. I actually am going to do a bunch more of these in 2021. I might even do them really regularly. So yeah, don't be too sad. Now I just need to decide what to wear to dinner. We've got our own little private table here. Hello. 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 It's cool up here. It's really cool in this place. Okay. 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 Okay.